on a big long Buick with that down the floor. This is Pooh Bear. Shea Bear is behind the camera today. We're in Springfield, Ohio at the um, Springfield, Ohio Car Show and Swap Meet. Um, we just kind of cleaned up the Buick uh, real well and brought it out. And last night, if you want to follow me, I'll show you what I made Shea Bear do to the car. What did you make Shea Bear do? I made him put some new air shocks on it since I broke it on our last camping trip. Yeah, I think I mentioned that. Uh, um, setting up a little high there, Pooh Bear. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> I think it's cool. A lot of people going to think it's stupid, but hey, we're redneck. Yeah, got it up a couple inches. And... What did we go, three inches on it? Uh, at least three, it I looks moved like. a bit. Three inches. three inches we got three inch lift so and all we had to do was bypass the what the airline the air pump, the air pump. <laughs> so he put a little T thing in there yeah and, that's right yeah and he brought it up we went to fill it up with the air last night and these two girls were sitting in the truck she, and Shea Bear was in the back of it and they go you don't put air in the bumper of your car. Dumbass. <laughs> Dumbass. And then they were watching, and he put it, start putting air in the truck. It started coming up, and they're like, "Wow." <laughs> <laughs> so. You proud of your little Buick? Huh? I'm proud of my little Buick. It's well, working out nice. What pissed us off when we first came in? Oh. The sheriff. The sheriff goes, you "Gonna enter that car?" Yeah. That's all I could do. Keep Shea Bear in check when he said that. You yeah. Know? We wanted to come to the car show, not the jail today, Well, he said, so. general admission? She said, no, we're going to show the car. He goes, this car? And she goes, yes, this car. Oh, well, I don't think they have spaces for any more show cars. But yeah, we just seen like eight more come in, and they found spaces. Yeah. But you know what? This is an everyday driver. You guys know what we do to this car. We take it camping. It's our truck. It's our car. We drive it every day, almost, what? 100, 150 miles a day. This car is driven. It had 71,000 miles on it when we bought the car. And now has what, 91,000? Yeah. 91,000 miles on it. I don't care. I still say that Pooh Bear's got a beautiful looking little Buick here. The only thing that's ever been done to it is it has had a new hood on it. This is not the original hood. Uh, something happened to the hood. We car faxed it. That's the only problem that it ever had with it. This is a this is not a steel hood, by the way. This is a fiberglass hood, so a magnet will not stick to it. Because the antenna right there for our satellite radio, I was going to put right here in the center of the hood, but it wouldn't stick. So, but there's Pooh Bear's Buick. She got raised up, but. I got the uh, right underneath the back bumper. I've got the splitter that way we can lower it down. And I left the original air airlines and pump on. That way, if we take a long trip like we always do, I can just plug the original air airlines into them shocks, and the pump will level it out where it's supposed to be. But just for cruising around town, she wanted to go a little redneck style, and that's what we do, huh? That's right. What do you think, Pooh Bear? I think it looks very cool. Yeah, it does. Thank you, Shea Bear, for doing it. You're welcome, honey, and uh, I'm glad I got to do it for you. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to find something to do. Yeah, Pooh Bear out. All right, Shea Bear, I'm going. Thanks, Pooh. Thanks. I'm videoing this. This is cool. Now we'll walk around this way. <laughs> Sweet. That is just too cool. Half a car. Well, actually. Pretty cool. You like that poop? Oh, I love it. I think it's cool. Motor with 
some dual exhaust. Look here, Mr. Dill, I don't care what it costs. I want a big, long Buick with that down low drive. 